Mona High School started incorporating the whole matter of the students with disability from as early as its inception. And the school started from 1979. So from its inception, it had started with, with that kind of attitude of helping um, students with certain problems. I feel that it is a good thing so that students with special needs also have a chance in schools so that they can get a proper education to further their lives, to make it more compatible to suit them. I can say it's been a very good experience for me personally. Although you have some challenges, but I can overcome it. At first, when she came in our music class, um, and the, um, the music teacher introduced um, her, and we thought, to be honest, we thought she would be like silent, she wouldn't talk to us or anything. But the first day, everyone was pushing, pushing to care. There are some schools who would not have been taking them, and so Mona High School um, came to the rescue to rescue some of those students with disabilities. Um, although they get help from students in terms of those in the wheelchair being pushed around um, gently and lovingly around. I see them as the same person because, you know, just because of their disability don't make them different. They can do the same things just as we are. can do the same things as well. Like normal people, but special people. We believe in helping all children from all classes, economic background, whether they are abled or disabled. We think of helping everybody because our motto says to learn, to love and to serve. And so we believe in helping because they are human beings and all of us are part and parcel of what we call the Mona High School family. And nobody's left out, whether you are abled or disabled. You wouldn't want yourself to be in that position, so you need to open your heart and look at people in that position and try to talk to them, reason with them, and interact with them just the way how you would inter interact with a normal person. Well, to help the disabled students in terms of infrastructure, uh, we, we have created ramps where it's, it is made easier for the wheelchair to get down and around the school with the help of students. And for the bathrooms, we have created um, the infrastructure. It's a little easier, but I would encourage schools to create the space and the environment where they can have more disabled students within because there are many of them there we, and, and, and we all need education. And education is important for all of us, whether you're disabled or otherwise. We sensitize teachers on how to deal with the, um, the students by encouraging them to uh, staff meetings or personal development sessions and, and also with the students we try to sensitize our students through our personal development classes and where we have seminars where we um, encourage them to be a little more caring, a little more understanding and a little more sensitive to the needs of our family members since we are more than a family. Well, they help me like when I, have, when I want to do things, they help me and they like help me with my wheelchair and like that. Because I don't really sit down with my wheelchair, I sit down in a chair. So when I want a wheelchair, they push my wheelchair around. So I started to cry around every day around the canteen, our classes and everything. Um, there's this brown lady right at the canteen. I would like go to the gate and I would like get my lunch quick. I give her the lunch to put in her lap and cry back around to the class. At the end of the day, we're all humans. And they can do the same thing as we can do. May, maybe not in the same manner, but they have a mind that they can think like us and they have the same organs as us. So. We, they can do anything that we can do, whether it's me mentally, physically. I think all schools, um, they should be helpful to the children who cannot help themselves. Kemar is one of our success stories in terms of he's part of the disabled community, but he has done so well. I think he has gotten up to 10 ones in his CXE. And, and I think he's even working now. And so he, he with his disability, it has not caused him to be any less than anybody else. Some people they picture disability people disability as they don't deserve to be on earth. They are not a part of earth and like that. And that's very bad. If you look in Parliament, the person in charge of the Senate, um, the Honorable Floyd Morris, is a disabled person and he's doing well. So so there's no there's no end or there's no limit to what a disabled person can.
can do.